Hi, this is Laura GP on day 12 of my 12 days of components. So here we are on our final component and we're going to take the component from yesterday, the gauge, and we're going to improve it. So we want to put in some colours onto that gauge, which are the good bits and the bad bits. So we're going to go for a red, amber, green idea. So here's an example of what we're going to try to draw. OK, and so we've got a red bit, an amber bit and a green part. So let me explain how that's going to work. The first step is to draw three arches, but to put them on top of each other. OK, the next step is to rotate an arch back so that it gets back to the amount you want it to be. So I want the red to be at 40 percent. So I do one minus the 0.4 and times that by 180, and then I rotate it back that amount. Okay, so a negative rotation. Now, because the um, view box is only 50 tall, the bottom half is outside of it, so it's not visible. So it looks like that. And then we rinse and repeat to do the same on the amber. So there we get to see the three different colors. So let's get on and have a go at making this component with some SVG. So here we are in our app from yesterday and with our sets of stars, our hearts and one of our gauges. So let's go straight over to components and let's take the day 11 gauge and let's duplicate it and make it small again and let's just rename that quickly to be Day, day 12 gauge and let's call it improved okay looking at the SVG code we've got in there we want to be able to draw three arches so we've got a light blue arch which I am going to make into our green arch and I am going to copy that line and paste it in two more times. So we'll have a green arch and on top of it, I quite like the gold color. Let's go with that. And let's put a red arch at the front. So let's have a quick look. There we are, we've got a red arch and it's still got the line on top, which is good. Right, now we need to be able to put into here what percentages it is for each of our values. So let's go back into our component and let's add a new custom property and let's put in the red score, red score, and this is going to be the red percentage and it's a number. And then another new custom property, which we're going to call the amber, the amber score. And this is going to be the amber percentage. And again, it's going to be a number. Right. So that's given us, and let's put in some values there. So let's go for our red score and let's make it 0 point, 0 point 0.4 and our amber score to be 0 0.8. And then let's go back into our SVG. So what we're going to do is we are going to calculate how far we're going to rotate it backwards. So let's just do a quick format text to make that slightly prettier. There we go. So I've got an SVG rotate. Let's put a comma in there and let's put in a red rotate, which is going to be a 180 times 1 minus the parent dot red score and we're going to do exactly the same for 
the amber, remembering to put into there the um, comma, which is what I usually forget. One minus parent dot amber score. So that's given me my values. Okay. And now we can come down to our gold and we're going to put in a transform. Actually, I am going to cheat a little bit here. We're going to copy that bit there because they're going to be the same. It's going to be the same center. It's just going to be a different amount we transform them by. So that I can put into the gold one. And that I can also put into the red one. And instead of SVG rotate, we're going to have our amber rotate. And instead of our SVG on the red one there, we're going to put in red rotate. So does that work? Look at that. Doesn't that look good? Except they're the wrong way round. I wanted them the other way round. I know what I've got wrong. I've forgotten to make those rotations negative. So let's put in a minus up there and a minus there. That makes negative rotations. So there we go. They are rotated. So our red goes up to 40 and then our green is just the last 20% because our amber goes all the way up to 80. Let's go to our screens. And let's zoom out a bit. I always seem to be zooming out and zooming in again. Anyway, let's on the insert ribbon, we're already there. Let's go to um, our custom and scroll down and find our gauge improved. Bring it down. Make it kind of the same size as the other one. There we go. That was a nice guess, wasn't it? Um, and let's put the so let's so we've got a of a 40% and 80%. I can change that to let's go for 60. Tab out of there. You see the green moves round and let's make the red back down to 20. There we go. That's that's working nicely. Let's have the score attached to the um the slider just like it is for all the other ones. So slider score divided by 100. So there we are, we can put this in and there we go. We have our five different methods of showing a KPI in a Power App. Hope you've enjoyed the series. If you haven't already, please press subscribe. Ready for my next series. Take care now. Mm -hmm.